Hey everybody, Steven Smotherman here. Today I want to talk to you about a way that you can gain some confidence with your Amazon FBA sourcing. Now a lot of times when uh, you're just beginning your Amazon FBA business and you're wanting to go out and source for inventory, you might be kind of like, you know, shy about pulling the trigger. You might be worried, what if I make a bad purchase? What if I buy something that doesn't sell? Just know that when you're in the beginning stages of your Amazon FBA business, you're gonna make mistakes at the beginning. That's just the truth. Everyone does, everyone makes mistakes. But today I wanna to talk to you about a strategy where you can make some mistakes and it won't cost you a thing. Uh, and so you can try this strategy on certain items that you're not too sure about and, and then you can see the results and you can kind of start to gain some more confidence. So the strategy that I used for this when I was first starting out <clears throat> is using my Amazon account wish list. Now you might be like, I don't understand what that means. Well, here's how I do it. Um, if you're just starting out, this is a really great way to see if the items that you buy are actually gonna be selling or actually are gonna hold in price, and this is how you do it. When you're outsourcing inventory, maybe you're doing it on your computer, or maybe you're at a retail store, you, you know, you're, if you're on the computer, you're at Amazon.com and, and you, can, you can have easy access to that. If you're, on your, if you're out and you're on your smartphone, make sure you use the Amazon app, uh, the regular customer app, and you have an account with Amazon. And what you do is if you find something that you might want to purchase to sell on Amazon, add it to your wish list. Don't actually buy it, put it back on the shelf, uh, and just add it to your wish list. And then after, as some time passes, maybe three weeks, four weeks, or five weeks, you can go back and check on those items to see if they've held their price or if the price has tanked. And, uh, you know, this, this is just an opportunity for you to learn. You know, you might be going through a bunch of Amazon FBA business videos. Uh, you might be going through our Jumpstart Amazon course, which is a great course for beginners. In fact, if you wanna know more about it, fulltimefba.com forward slash jumpstart will help you get everything you need to know to start a successful Amazon FBA business. But if you are going through that learning process and you just kind of want to test some things out without putting any money into it, just while you're wanting while you're searching for inventory, just add it to your Amazon wish list. And then four or five weeks later, go back in and in your Amazon wish list it will show you, it will tell you if the price has dropped since you have added it to your list. And so you can go through, and in fact, in just a second, I'll show you what it looks like on my laptop. I'll go through my wish list on items that I added to my inventory months ago, and it will tell you, um, you know, if the price has dropped or if it has held and is still high. In fact, it could have even increased. But this will give you a chance to test some things out without putting any money into it. And then as you do this over time, you'll begin to gain more confidence and see, oh, well, that was a good buy and this was why, and well, this was a bad buy and this was why. You know, I had a good feeling about this, but it didn't work out. And I had a bad feeling about this, but it ended up working out just fine. You can kind of dissect those things yourself and figure out these lessons. Um, but this is an opportunity for you to try it out with, uh, without putting any money into it. So I'll take you to my laptop right now, show you my screen, and show you what it looks like. Uh, you know, just in my wish list and how things have happened since the past few months. All right, here I am in my Amazon.com wish list, and I'm going to look through some items that I added to my wish list over a month ago. These items were added February 13th, 2018, and I'm recording this video on March 23rd, 2018. So it's been about 40 days or so since I have added these items to my wish list. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at them now, and if there's been a change of the price going down, then the wish list will tell me that the price has gone down. And this will see if the, the item has tanked a lot or maybe just gone down a little bit. So we look at this very first item, uh, and it does not show a price decrease. Now, there could be a price increase, but Amazon's not gonna tell their customers that. So that's still good, the price has stayed the same. Here's this next one, and again, there's been no price decrease. Now let's take a look at this one. There has not been a price decrease, but I can see that there's two left in stock offered by Amazon, so maybe Amazon's come back in stock and they were out before. And so I wanna 
do my due diligence and check a few other things to see if this is still good. I can go back and look at a keep a graph to see if Amazon goes in and out of stock of this particular item and see if I want to compete against Amazon or just pass. Let me scroll a little bit more. All right, this item here, the price has dropped 2% since I added it. That's not a big deal to me, so it's still one that's good to go. This item right here, the price has stayed the same or increased. Now it does look like it's got a negative star rating. I usually ignore star ratings when it comes to buying items to sell on Amazon. People like to complain a whole lot more than they like to praise, and that includes Amazon reviews. And so if the product shows that it has a lot of sales in its sales history with a Keepa graph, I will continue to purchase those items. Let's scroll down here. Um, no price decrease, but possibly a price increase or it has stayed the same. Scroll a little bit more and I can see this one. This price has dropped 39% since I added it to my cart about 40 days ago. So this is something that is showing the price going down. So again, I can do my due diligence and see if this is a temporary price drop and it's probably going to go back up again. I use Keepa Graphs to, to do that. If you are interested in learning more about Keepa Graphs, you can learn how I use them at fulltimefba.com forward slash read Keepa. But um, so I'll probably pass on that. In fact, the price is under $12. Usually when any item on Amazon gets under $12, I will pass on selling that because there's not much profit left. This item here is still um, priced really well and has not gone down any. This price has dropped 11%, so I can double check and see if that's a game changer or not. Um, looks like it probably won't be, and I'll probably still purchase this item. And this item down here is now out of stock. It's currently unavailable. This is an awesome item to be able to purchase to get back in stock. When I'm the only one selling, then I can pick my price, and I pick a fair price, uh, to sell the item for and sell it on Amazon. So these are items that I've added to my wish list 40 days ago, and I'm going back and using this strategy to see if the price is tanked or if it's remained strong or even possibly gotten even better. All right, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe and so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming free Amazon FBA trainings. Um, if you like this t-shirt, great Father's Day present that I got, uh, you can find the link to that in the uh, description below. You can find links to any of the other things that we've talked about in this video. Be sure you follow us at fulltimefba.com. That's where all of our main stuff hap uh, is, and we, don't wanna make, we wanna make sure that you get advantage of all of our opportunities to learn and take your Amazon FBA business to the next level. Well, that's it again for today. I'll see you guys next time. God bless, bye.